am so sad. What's up, everybody? Welcome back to another colorful episode of the Not So Fairy Challenge. Peace generation. Last time we were hustling to get those child aspirations done. This episode, the hustle will continue. However, I think we'll end up aging up into teenagers at some point in this episode, which I'm very excited to do. If you guys don't follow me on Twitch, I did a teen room makeover for both of the teens and also adjusted the office to be like a joint office for our parents. If you're interested in watching the video for that, go check it out on my second channel, youtube.com slash more Kelsey and PJK. But if you're interested in watching future streams with me, make sure to check me out on twitch.tv slash Kelsey Dangerous. Let's jump into the video. So here we are with our beloved Amber Berry, the star of our story. Amber Berry ages up at the end of this week on Friday. We have five-ish days to get done our second requirement, which is the social butterfly. I think we have more than enough time. We just need to become three friends with other children, become friends with two adults and achieve a level 10 social skill. And I know some adults that she can already become friends with who are related to her. So that'll be delightful. And then we've got, of course, August Berry, who's finishing up his rambunctious scamp. He's a little bit behind. He's only on level one of three. So he just needs to practice typing for four hours, but we'll get there really quickly when we go home. All right, we're back home. He needs to use the bathroom. So let's go use the bathroom in here. And we got Amber who's upstairs on the computer. I found a hack recently that you can chat with kids. So I'm gonna have her become friends with Marco first. So she's gonna chat with Marco online and become better friends with him through the internet. Oh, what a good hack. And we got Rose kind of chilling, taking care of things, cleaning up stuff. Jacqueline's gone to bed. She's very tired. And August is uh, using the toilet. Amazing. What other things does he need? He needs food. Oh, there's no food in the kitchen here. All right, why don't we cook something up for him? Let's serve a dinner. We'll cook a chicken stir fry. Sounds delicious. And August, since you're tired, why don't you go to bed? I know it's like a little early. Well, no, it's actually not early. I know you're hungry, but I think you should go to bed while mom kind of cooks dinner for you. There we go. He's taking his nap at 11. You know, it's not really a nap, but his sister's like thriving, becoming friends with Marco. Just tippy tapping away. We love this. Oh my God, this music is killing me. Nice elevator music for you. Oh, she's so inspired by herself. She's like, even I inspire me, you know? Your son is so hungry and tired. Why don't you grab a serving and then get off to bed? Okay, buddy, here we go. Oh, Rose started singing. She's level four. I sometimes forget Rose can sing because of her meditating that she ended up with a good singing voice. I don't know how that works, but I like that it does. I find that very entertaining. He's feeling happy because he had a good meal. And then Rose is, I guess, playing with mud or something. Oh. Wow, what an artiste. <laughs> Made a bust out of that clay. Whoa, good job, Rose. And she just put it down like that. Okay, why don't you go to bed? I know you're not tired, but I feel like everybody's sleep schedule's a little off. I'm trying to get everybody back onto a normal sleep schedule here. There we go. Oh my God. Oh no, Ash is dying. Where'd he go? Poor baby Ash. No. Jacqueline's gonna be devastated. Oh no, I am so sad. Luckily, well not luckily, but luckily I did have a plan. I did want them to get chickens once the kids were teens and we kind of cleared out some of this kid stuff outside. So we will be getting chickens. There's Grim to take our baby away. Oh my gosh, we're gonna have to put Ash's grave with Minnie in the family graveyard. We should put like a pet area. Grim, just get it over with. So sad, death is inevitable. Rose knows that. Rose just didn't think that it would be thinking about it so soon. Oh, now she's a fear of death. Oh, poor Rose. I mean, they are getting a little bit older in age. I think like next week they're becoming elders. They're getting up there in age, unfortunately. I feel like our girl Amber might have kids a little sooner than Rose did is my goal. Which means Amber's gonna have to find a partner pretty young, maybe a high school. Wait, no, we have to meet someone at work. That's a requirement. Okay, it'll be after high school. Ah! Hopefully, hopefully, hopefully our moms will be around around to see our partner, but I don't know. I could totally honestly see Amber like start dating someone immediately get pregnant accidentally and be like, ah, I'm keeping it. Like it's fine. And then they just keep kind of dating and then eventually get together. Like I could totally see that being their story of like her being like, hey, no, let's not rush this. I do want to have this baby though. So. <laughs> But that just seems so funny to me. I think that'd be an interesting story. Let me know your guys' thoughts of how you want, you know, Amber's story to be maybe a little different. Oh my God, Grim is downstairs listening to epic music and playing with the clay. 
<laughs> He's like, I'm so artistic. What are you listening to, Grim? He's listening to music from Batu, the Star Wars pack. Maybe he's like related to Kylo Ren. Honestly, I'm just making some fun little conspiracy theories for us. This is really uncomfortable though, Grim. I think I need you to get out of my house. He also ruined my cool bust that I had. Okay, now he's like decided to leave. Yeah, I think it's time for you to go. He made this star. How creepy is that? Imagine your pet died. You go downstairs and the lump of clay that you had built a bust was like a different shape. Like someone had been inside your house. Then you're gonna assume that your pet was murdered. Probably. Oh my gosh. Anyway. Oh my gosh. Rose and Amber woke up at the same time. That's pretty wild. Rose is like very upset going to use the toilet. They both needed to use the toilet at the same time too. They're like kind of synced. Oh, Amber, why don't you take a shower really quick? Okay. And she broke this. Okay. Fabulous. Okay. We got school for about an hour for the kids. So we got to wake up August. Actually, August is pretty good. He doesn't actually need to wake up. He can sleep until school starts. And Amber's pretty good too. Did you do your homework? Homework. She did it her homework. Has he done his homework? He's done his homework. And they're both A students. Good job, Pat's Kelsey. Way to be a team player. The house is so empty without our sweet baby. Oh my gosh. I feel like we need to give Amber like a little hug. Maybe try to cheer her up. Oh my gosh, Jacqueline, you gotta go to work. And this little guy needs to go into school. Cheer her up before she goes off to school. It's okay, sweetie, all right? We weren't able to give our son any love before school. He ran off to school pretty quick. We probably could have kept them out of school today, but it's too late now. Rose is gonna go cry in her bed. So sad. Jacqueline's also really upset. Why don't we prepare for work here? Regain passion. Just do that really quick. Hopefully that can help. And Rose is just home today, cleaning up the house. During free time, August drew an inappropriate piece of artwork. Oh my god, is it a dead cat? It caused lots of giggling and disrupted the- Okay. We encourage your creativity, okay? He's going through a rough time. He fell out of the good manner straight, but then he went back into range. So everything is fine. We got some cash money. That's good. Why don't you like do a little bit of reading, you know? I know you love to read. That it might be kind of a relaxing experience. Oh, Amber also drew an inappropriate artwork today. She probably drew private parts. <laughs> we encourage creativity though. We'll send a sad text to our sister, letting her know that the cat died. Her fun's definitely all the way up because she loves to read. Ooh, we could meditate a little bit. That could help our mood. Oh, she's like, come on over, I'll cheer you up. Okay. Water lock Rita. I hope she's still in the same house. What if she moves? We're gonna find out. No, we're back at the house and they're still together. That's great. Oh my gosh. Hug lovingly. Yeah. Yeah, we're gonna hug both of them, actually. You're looking great, Johnny. It's been so long. We gotta go give our sister a hug now. Wait, who's this? Salem Berry? Oh my God, Salem died. I'm gonna take that. Look at us, we're even having some sentiments, growing closer with quality time, I'm adoring. They're doing their little secret twin handshake. Oh, this is so great. Offer some gratitude. Why don't you two just sit and chat inside too? She's complimenting the house. She's like, you've kept it up so well. Oh, they're having some good quality time with sisters with Johnny. It's just like old times. They're watching TV. Oh, look at Rose. She's loving it. She's so happy. Tell Johnny a little outrageous story about the kids. We even have like a piece of a cake. I think that Briar, no, Rose made that cake. We can share that with everybody. As usual, Briar seems to want to make a cake, which is hilarious. You know what? This is why it's because her dad always bake. Let's resume the cake. You know what? We brought over a cake. We're making a cake with our sister. Let's invite her to join us. Ooh, look at that cake. Call it a meal. Be like, hey, everybody, new cake. Even though we brought over leftovers of a cake, we're all eating the cake anyway. She's actually feeling pretty happy spending time in her old house. Do we still have anything in the backyard? Yeah, we took a lot of the stuff from the backyard. This backyard's so cute. I really love how that turned out. You know what? I really like this pathing. Maybe I should use that in our current backyard. Oh, look, the kids are home from school. Well, let's bring them here so that they can like hang out with Briar and Johnny. So let's ask for advice. Let's have them both kind of talk to their uncle and aunt back from school. They're feeling so sad. Oh, poor babies. But Amber's gonna work on her social skill, you know, complain about our problems. August is gonna come in too. Maybe he'll work on his typing skills for fun. They're all locked. That's okay. He'll hang out with Briar. Maybe play some video games with Briar. Amber's gonna chat with Uncle Johnny. 
Johnny talk about school. He's gonna socialize the crap out of Johnny. He is uncomfortable because he doesn't like kids, which is very funny, but I still think he likes our kids. Ooh, Jacqueline's calling. Hey honey, it's mom. When are you gonna come visit? She's like missing the kids. I'll visit you tomorrow. Like we're gonna see each other later today. I didn't really think about how awkward it'll be for Johnny to become friends with the kids, but they were kind of friends with him when they were otherwise younger. August is really having fun with Briar, so that's sweet. They are slowly but surely becoming friends. Ooh, undying adoration. They say lightning whenever strikes the same place twice. We'll tell that to Rose. She found the sim of her dreams. And by some miracle, they got to marry her too. There are times like this when Rose likes to remind herself just how lucky she is to be married to the ravishing goddess like Jacqueline Berry. I've never seen this pop up before. This is so cute. I wonder if this is an update. To be able to love and be loved by such a captivating creature brings incomprehensible joy to her heart and the attraction they have for their beloved partner still adores like an undying blaze even now. How flippant romantic is that? Okay, we're gonna bring Jacqueline here as well. Jacqueline should come and hang. Jacqueline, why don't you console your son about the death? Rose is feeling flirty. She's playing on her computer thinking about how she wrote all these love stories about Jacqueline in this very room. We'll get some cuddles with our Aunt Briar. It seems like she actually isn't super close with Aunt Briar, so I feel like becoming close with Aunt Briar and Uncle Johnny will be just what the doctor ordered. Look at her cuddling her aunt. Oh, this is so sweet. I love it so much. Let's take a photo of Briar and then take a photo of Johnny, become besties with both of them. As usual, more cake has been brought out. I don't know how, I don't know why, but Jacqueline's eating some cake, so that's good. Jacqueline, do you want to maybe go outside and play some chess with your wife? That might be, oh, we're taking the photos. I forgot, okay, work it, queen. I don't know when she got this fit. I didn't pick it out, but oh my God, why is everything sped up? I did not do that. Okay, is that ceviche? Ooh, I think that's like a fancy one. It was made by Rose. So maybe this is like sparking her interest in cooking, but she's become friends with one adult. Oh my gosh, Briar and her are now friends. All right, let's take a photo of Johnny. So like you guys can be besties and then you'll have your two adults done. And we maxed her skill. Okay, we just need to be friends with three children and become friends with the second adult. Come on, Johnny. I know you don't like kids, but I've got to be your favorite kid, okay? So we're gonna all become besties. You don't have a choice. They're just gonna be like romantic in the backyard. Amber's still quite sad, but her brother's cheered up a bit. All right, she's taking her photo of Uncle Johnny. Oh, looking tough, Uncle Johnny. Next pose, nice. She has two friends that are adults now, so good job, Amber. We just need the three other kids. We still haven't gotten August to kind of get his skill done because we need to unlock the computer, unfortunately. Let's have everybody go home. It was so much fun spending time with our family, but it is time for us to head back to the countryside, let our kids kind of settle down, do their homework, everything. But we've had a very nice day with Aunt Briar and Uncle Johnny. So that was kind of fun. I don't think we've had like a family day in a minute. Oh my gosh, we have a lot of bills, but it is okay. So we'll have Amber needs to do her homework, but her fun is kind of low. Let's go use the bathroom. And then she could play like her little instrument to make her fun go up. August is tired, but we want him to do the typing thing. So why don't we have you play a typing game and then you can go to bed. Let's do like a little chess set here. I know like two Sims can't use it, but it'll be fine. She can play by herself. I think it's understandable that they didn't do their homework tonight, mostly because they just are so sad. She's actually learning the real skill of violin now, which is interesting. I guess she could just stay with violin. I just feel like once she becomes more lazy as an adult, she's gonna be not into violin. So I feel like she needs a different music thing. So I think I think maybe guitar might be the easier version of violin, but it is what it is. She likes it, so. Oh, he dislikes mischief. August does not like mischief. That's so cute. I love that for August. Rose just helped her daughter, who I think is done with her homework. Are you done? She is. All right, why don't you go to bed? Cause it's late. It's 1 a.m. Yeah, go to bed, you poor baby. August did not do his homework, but he's tuckered out. He did play typing for three hours though. So he's almost up to the next level. Rose also is going to bed. She's tired. And Jacqueline's just taking care of some of her needs. She's gonna go to bed and everyone's in bed. The kids will have school so soon. Yep. Oh, and he's like pretty miserable. Oh my gosh. Poor babies. So the kids are going to school. Jacqueline is gonna go into work and Rose as usual, just, just chill. Why don't you listen to the teacher? Make sure you stay good. And then Jacqueline's I think is going to work any minute now. So why don't you wake up as well? You might wanna grab some food. Although I don't know if you have time. 
Go to work. You can eat it at work, I guess. Get that promotion, queen. Rose. Just chill it. Why don't you take like a jog or something? I know you like working out. Go jogging. She's sad. Yeah, jogging to clear your mind might be a good option for you. Potential cheater. It isn't easy earning top grade. And Amber is feeling the pressure now. Oh, I didn't realize Amber was such a smart kid in school. I kind of assumed she was like lazier and like kind of middle of the pack, but that's fine. It doesn't help that one of the girls keeps sitting close, glancing her way with her sweet, innocent eyes. Is she trying to be friendly or just copy off Amber? Amber's just gonna keep away. She's gonna be like, eh, I don't wanna deal with it. Amber picks a seat by the back where the girl won't go too far from the board. Of course, now it's a lot harder to see the teacher right on the board and Amber's not getting called on anymore. So she had a bit of a performance loss. Oh, poor Amber, rough day, rough day. She's sad and she's not really running very far. So let's do a yoga routine. Look how energy centered we are doing our yoga, working on our fitness, we're her witness. Now she's feeling a lot better. I wish I was this good at yoga, honestly. You kind of have to practice and I uh, don't. What's really keeping me back from being a yoga master is myself. <laughs> feeling pretty good. Let's go take a shower after. She's a little insecure about her fear of death. Otherwise doing great. She wants to finish writing a book. Have we started writing another book at any point? Oh, we do need to pay our bills. Let's go do that. And then write Maybe a screenplay. Maybe one of her books got picked up by a studio. They're optioning it for a TV show. She's got to write the screenplay for it. Thrilling. A Court of Flame and Fury. I think that was one of them. We're going to do that. August is inviting over classmate Katrina. That's great. Ray, I'm glad that he has a friend. That's so sweet. Actually, speaking of inviting over classmates, Amber, you should invite over some classmates. Why don't you invite over to hang out? Let's do Marco. Oh my God, Marco's a teen now. Well, we need more children to become friends. So is Katrina a child that you invited over? Amber's going to, maybe he invited her over to hang out with his sister, to be honest. That'd be a very sweet thing that he would do. All right, and then why don't you sit here, finish your typing, and then you can go outside and play. Okay, that's his little homework or whatever. Let's practice your typing game. We'll finish that up. Amber's gonna become friends with your friend, Katrina. Oh, they're both going through a death. Katrina. No wonder August invited over Katrina. They're all going through a death. That's the sweetest, most sad thing I've ever heard. She's consoling her. Oh, they're so cute. Talk about school. Tell a make-believe story. How's August? August finished his requirement. Yay, good job, August. Now he needs to make it across the monkey bars. Three times, perfect timing, bro. We're gonna achieve a level 10 of the motor skill and he needs to earn a high score on the typing gate, which you can totally do, buddy. Oh, Amber just learned she's a child of the islands. Maybe she lives near the ocean. Oh no, it looks like Jacqueline did not get her promotion today. Bummer. All right, let's harvest everything. August, are you not gonna play on the monkey bars? He didn't even make it across one time. I needed you to play on the monkey bars, buddy. There's one, there's two, and there's three. We did it, yay! Okay, now he's having some fun. He's just gonna play around there. Amber, what happened to your new friend? Why don't you go take a photo with her? Add it to your little photo gallery of all your friends. Oh, what cuties. Oh, the drama. I love this photo, that's funny. Yes, they are friends now. Okay, amazing. Why don't you go grab some food? Cause you're a little hungry. And August, don't you wanna play around with your friend? Where'd she go? Do she need to use the bathroom? Oh my God, that's broken. Thank you for pointing that out, darling. Invite her to play with you. Yeah, why don't you two play a card game together? Or no, play on the monkey bars. This is even better. And then sweet Amber is sitting down outside watching, eating her yummy food. She's got one friend down. We need to make more friends. Maybe we can make some friends at school. So we only know two children besides our brother. I guess she could have been BFFs with her brother now that I think about it. But I love that August is leveling up his motor skill and becoming friends with other kids. He does need to get some food and he's exhausted. And Katrina's going home. All right, he's really tired. Why don't we put him to sleep? Amber needs some some fun. Why don't you maybe sit here? I wonder if she can find any friends online. Oh, common ground to build a relationship from feeling an Amber with someone nearby. She's like even closer now that they've gone through like all the things that they've been through together. Have you go to bed? Did you finish your screenplay? Yes, yeah, she did. All right, why don't you publish it? Sell to publisher A Court of Flame and Fury, the screenplay, which was excellent quality. So it's not a bestseller, but it's pretty good. She was just about to do some yoga outside. It's like 9 p.m. Everyone passed out. Kind of crazy. Oh my gosh, she fell asleep on there, you poor thing. Why don't you go to bed? Wow, look at me go, having my sims go to bed at 10.30. I don't even go to bed at 10.30. I take care of them sometimes better than I take care of myself. Who's, Who's with, with me? me? Our kid is up and he needs to pee. He also needs to shower and he's hungry.
Look at me go. It's 3 a.m. I cannot believe he's up at 3 a.m. getting ready for the school day. That's pretty wild to me. But let's get some leftovers to see what other things does he need. He needs to get a high score on the typing game. Maybe that's what he woke up early to get a high score on his typing game. I don't blame him. Amber is up. She needs some fun and she just needs some hygiene. Why don't you play in the bath? At the same time, August is eating his leftovers. Oh, nom nom. Ooh, nom nom, indeed. Hopefully he will get that high score. We'll find out. Out. Meanwhile, Amber hanging out with her mom. Oh, she's asking for advice from Jacqueline. Last recess, no one wanted to play with me. Oh, she's sad because like she didn't even have any friends at school. The one friend she met like maybe didn't go to her school. So she's like, I didn't have any friends to hang out with. I just climbed around on my own. What should I do? And she's like, you know what? Today you should ask other kids if you could join in, which will make sense why Amber today spends today making friends at school. Ooh, look at that. Look at that. All coming together. The Lord, the Lord writes, writes itself. itself. He did. He earned the highest score of the game. Oh my gosh, perfect. All right, now we just need him to get up to a level 10 and he's done. And Amber just needs the two more friends and she's done. Oh, and Amber starts school in about an hour. Can you do your homework, sweetie? Breeze through your homework. I think your moms are up, so someone can help you with your homework while you're working on it. Maybe make it go faster. All right, let's help her with homework really fast. And then we've got our boy just working hard on his typing skills. I don't mind if he's not really working on his homework. I think he's fine. He's going to listen to teacher to get some skill building, but Amber's gonna make some friends so she can invite someone over after school today. Go make friends, Amber. You need to make friends with at least two other children, please. Jacqueline's going to work today. And Rose, maybe for these fears of death, she's going to travel and go to the family grave site so we can also put our pet gravestones there. Oh no, it's raining. Oh, the poor weather to be there. Okay, I might wanna move the pets, put them all in one area. Nope, I can't move them, it's fine. We'll put her pets in one area though. We've got Minnie, Ash, and Salem. I don't know why Salem Berry looks like a human when I'm like 99.9% .9 sure it is a pet, but it's fine. More an Ash. She's remembering a pet that passed away. She's doing everything that she needs to. She's strengthening Minnie's connection to the material realm so that we could see him again. But hopefully they'll haunt this gravesite. That'll be fun. Let's, I guess, go home. Let's go inside. We'll have like a nice little meditation. Oh, look at her. Floating, just completely connected. Tent. Ooh, today the principal is visiting Amber's class. Everyone is on their best behavior and not interrupt the lesson. Unfortunately, the kids sitting behind her has decided to pelt her with something. She'd ask the kids to stop. She's a little firecracker. Amber scribbles a note and passes it to the kid. Stop it or I'll tell. The kid wads up the paper and fires it at Amber, but it misses and rolls up to the teacher's feet. Furious, the teacher sends a bolt out into the hallway. Oh no. August is a class all star today. He gets to be interviewed by the entire class. He's feeling nervous and kind of excited until someone says, how come you always get eggs? Do you try to be witty? Oh, he'll try to be witty. He's a little jokester too. August tries to make a joke out of it. Something about alphabets and there's nothing before A. But then whenever every kid stays silent, he opts for silence too. One of the questions down, only 22 to go. This is going to be the longest class ever. Oh, he had a bad day at school too. He's feeling embarrassed for making a joke and no one thought it was funny. That might make sense why he doesn't end up going into comedy like his sister. And it's almost their birthday. I believe it's on Friday. So we have tomorrow and then the next day is their birthday. He's feeling very energized, just very happy. She's gonna have a nice little moment for her hygiene. August has returned from school. He's one of the top students. And Amber is also one of the top students at Land Grab Academy. Did you make any new friends? You didn't make any new friends. That was your whole goal at school today. Rats, okay. Well, why don't you go grab some leftovers? I wonder if August has any friends that you're not very close with. Kaylee, okay, Kaylee, we could invite Kaylee over. It's so cute that he has a bunch of friends naturally, but then she's good at like making an effort to make the friends. So he's met all these people already. Oh, look who's in my garden. It's Briar. Love that. All right, let's see Kaylee. Come on over. Come on over. Come on over, Kaylee. Yeah, 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 yeah. Let's become besties with Kaylee now. Oh, our little guy is asking his mom for advice. Less recent, no one wanted to play with me. He's having similar problems to his sister. Probably because that awkward joke, everyone's like, oof, I'm gonna avoid this boy. He made that awkward joke at school. But just ask the other kids if you can join in. They have short memories. It's fine. August is taking a nap upstairs. He's such a sleepy boy. Why don't you take a full sleep since you're very tired and we'll have him do the typing test and get his skills up soon. Bright and day. I wonder if they can play cards together and that'll like help their fun or something. Oh my God, Jacqueline finally got her promotion. Yes, Jacqueline, I'm so happy.
happy for you. She's very stinky because she's been in the dirt all day, but she is now a STEM researcher. Let's go, Jacqueline. Go take a shower. You deserve it, queen. She now needs to get a level seven of gardening still and level four of logic. Amber's playing with her friend in the tent still. Her new friend who's uncomfy. Tell a goofy story. We're a very goofy girl. How are you doing, August? He's doing a lot better. Why don't you wake up, use the toilet? He's so embarrassed from school today. I don't blame you, kid. It's hard, but don't worry. Come over here. Let's like have you do your little typing game that you love. Keyboard commander game. Oh wait, where'd the friend go? Okay, go take a photo with her. Say cheese. Yeah, that's a lot of blush, Kaylee. How'd it go? Yes! Kaylee and I are besties now, so that's perfect. Let's go use the toilet and then we just need one more friend. Tomorrow is Thursday, so perfect day to make one more friend. Hopefully it won't be raining. Maybe we'll go to a park or something to make that last friend. August is chilling, working on his skills. Oh, now he's inspired. Good. Okay, hopefully he will level up his skill faster now. Amber's going to bed at eight. Girl, just go to bed then. You're almost to level nine and then tomorrow we'll get to level 10 for you. Perfect. We just need one more level of the motor skill for him and he's done. So he's gonna go eat some food. He's gonna grab a peanut butter and jelly sandwich. A classic. It's time for everybody to go to bed in the Barry family once more. Three hours later. We are up. We are awake. Let's do yogurt. She put her little berries on top. She's already like thinking of like a little chef. Speaking of chef, mom actually should probably cook some food for everybody because we keep like running out of food in the fridge. We'll do a party size super food salad. Honestly, a superfood salad sounds so good. I think I'm gonna order myself one right now. BRB, I am also very hungry. <laughs> Done, my salad is on its way to me. For them turning to teens, I feel like we could like go out for the party. Maybe we'll take them to the pub as teens. That'd be so cute. Oh, and the kids are going to grade school. Bye kids. Oh, they're having a nice little breakfast moment together. Getting some little flirts in before Jacqueline goes off to work. Good luck at work today. You gotta crush it as the STEM researcher. <gasps> Amber met Bailey while at school. Yes, Bailey will be our last friend. Perfect. Ooh, Rose made a teapot. She's so creative. Why don't you do your little daily yoga routine? Ooh, we made 3,000 today with our royalty. Ooh, Court of Flame and Fury doing pretty well, but not as well as Kingdom of Fury, of course. Ooh, August met Shea. Okay, Shea is August's friend and Amber met Elmer. Great. Love this for my Sims here. Ooh, she's feeling good. Do you want to like work out? I just like when they jog around the world because then I get to see more of it. I think it's a very fun way to tour the countryside. Right, let's go have you go take a bath. The kids will be home in a couple hours. Ooh, Tatum. August met Tatum while at school, so that's good. She hasn't caught up with her pen pals in a minute. Maybe we should do that. It'd be magic if we did find that last pen pal. Why don't you also chat with some of her other friends? Let's talk to Mara. She's thinking about her sister too. You can talk to your sister online. Let's talk with Briar online. Oh my God, Johnny aged up. Do you see that? Johnny's an old man now. Wow, he's an elder. Oh my goodness. Look at him. August just feeling great after school today. So inspired. He has crushed the alphabet and Amber is also feeling really good after school today. So that's great. August, why don't you play on the monkey bars and Amber, why don't you invite over Bailey to become besties with Bailey and both of you guys are gonna finish your aspirations the day before your birthdays, which will be so good. Where's Bailey? Bailey, Bailey, come over. Look who's also here, it's Stacy. Let's tell a goofy story. She's trying to make Bailey feel better. Very good, very sweet. August is like hanging out with the Grim Reaper statue. Let's have him go sit at the computer then and do the game. Your sister's making friends, give a pep talk, do an impression. She's becoming very good at making new friends and inviting new people over every time. I think she like tends to like Sims that are also going through it. She can like cheer them up. That's like her favorite thing to do. Oh, and look who's home, it's Jacqueline. Little exhausted, but feeling good either way. Let's harvest all of our harvestables and take care of everything. She also needs a little bit of some happiness. So we're gonna have Jacqueline practice yoga because I'm pretty sure she likes meditation and stuff like that too. Bailey seems to like how funny she is. So we're gonna take a photo with Bailey now too at the end of this. Oh, look at these two. Then we'll have like a lot of options for when we age up of like friends. And is that it for Amber? Yes, we did it. We 
finished our aspiration for Amber. Let's go. Two for two, baby. So we finished social and we finished creativity. And these two we haven't done, but honestly, I'm good. I'm good with that. Let's go get her some food and a bath and everything. How are you doing, August? It's your turn now. Okay, we need to finish up your skills. He's crushing this. Mavis Beacon, who? It's all about August Berry. And Jacqueline reached the level four of the wellness skill. Love that for you, Jacqueline. I feel like she's kind of getting to the point where she might want to retire. Whereas I don't know if Rose ever will fully retire because she kind of just like works when she wants to and she's pretty casual about it. Come on, August. You can just gotta finish this one thing. You're so close. If you just finish up, you can go get some food. Nope, he decided to get the power salad before he had finished Keyboard Commander. Mad about that, but it's fine. We'll have you do it after. Boom, aspiration completed. Good job. Go clean that up and you can go take a shower and go to bed. Woohoo, both my kids are crushing it right now. Oh, we're having a dance party in the bathroom as usual. Oh my God, I love this for my family. Amber, why don't you go to sleep? We're gonna get ready for tomorrow, which is your birthday. Yeah, 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 yeah. Are there any photos of the kids together as kids? Just as toddlers. I feel like we should take a photo of the kids together tomorrow before they age up. Or maybe now, buzzing. This is so cute. Adorable. My silly, silly kid. Yay! I love this. Okay, take a photo of Jacqueline and the kids, okay? Oh my God, this is so cute. I am gonna take this photo. I know I'm cutting out my daughter, but this is just too cute, okay? The girlies posing, of course, like, and even- <laughs> August in the background also posing. Like they're doing their fierce model face and it shows. And now let's all go to bed. Good night, everyone. Oh my gosh, so excited. Teens, 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 teens. Amber is up and she is hungry. So go down and get a salad for breakfast. You guys have fun at school today. You're just gonna chill. Bye, Jacqueline. Have a good time at work today. Ooh, Amber is the class all-star today. She gets to be interviewed by her entire class. This happened to her brother too. And she's feeling nervous and kind of excited. She's gonna be witty. I really hope that she pulls it off. Amber doesn't think her answer is all that funny, but for some reason her classmates are falling off their seats laughing. This is the most Amber thing. She's like, oh, they like me. They really like me. Maybe this should be my career. Of course it should be, Amber. You are hilarious. You're a star. I'm a star. Please, I'm a star. Let's bake a birthday cakes for the kids. All right, let's do their peach. You know what? Hamburger cake makes sense because they're both silly. It'll be kind of funny having their friends who are all children at a party at a pub, but I think I might just age up their friends too. While we're there, maybe. Let's add some birthday candles. Perfect. Oh, look, our friend's back over. Hey, I got a special gift for you because you're such a good neighbor. Invite you in. Let's add up some new family photos also into the wall while I'm thinking about it. Yes, the kids being silly. This is a cute one. I think I'm gonna like adjust how the these all sit. All right, the wall is updated with some photos from last night. I should have put like a, maybe a filter on them. There we go, perfect. Now we're here hanging out with our friend. Oh, she's giving us her present. Thank you, Stacy. Ooh, a nice horse figurine. Ooh, do we give horse girl energy? I guess we kind of do, huh? Love that gift for us, thank you. Oh, Amber's gonna invite over Elmer. Okay, yeah, it's your birthday, so you guys can do whatever. Let's play together on the monkey bars. Bro Rose and her friend are goofing around, having a casual discussion with the kids outside. This is so cute. And Jacqueline's home. Okay, I put the cake in her inventory. Let's plan our birthday party. I'm planning it and I don't know their kid friends. Shoot, that was dumb of me. Yes, Jacqueline, Rose, Briar and Johnny. And we'll do Elmer, who we know. That's it, that's fine. And we're gonna have it at Gnome's Arms. They're gonna age up and they're gonna party like teens. Look at the party. Look at him, little handsome birthday boy and a lovely birthday girl. I'm gonna pull out their cake. So let's all go inside together. Since she is the older one, Amber, you're going to blow out the candles first. Happy birthday, darling. I hope you have a fantastic day. I cannot wait to give you a makeover. Everyone's celebrating our little queen here. Foodie lazy goofball. I think foodie. She's been like really interested in food lately. I think that might be kind of fun for her to have. Although I feel like lazy will be funny to her to have as a teen too. Maybe we'll do lazy. And her aspiration is going to be joke star. Joke star, the sim wants to tell jokes and become a famous comedian. So that's our Amber. Oh my gosh, look at so cute. And then it'll be our brother's turn next. I can't wait to see what he looks like. August, go, go, go. I'm so excited to see you. A dapper little gentleman. Happy birthday, August, too. Uh, 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 uh. 
Uh, party animal. I think he's gonna be athletic because like kind of he was into that when he was young. And I think it's funny if she starts doing a slob and he starts doing athletic. His aspiration, let's do a little teen one. If he's a perfectionist, maybe he'll wanna like be goal oriented, have like the grades and everything done. Ooh, okay. So here is Amber. We're gonna fix her up so she looks more like a teen. I'm so excited for the new hair that I have for Amber. Colors I'm having for her are the Sim Andy. This is one of the ones I was thinking of. Actually, I kind of like this one with the ponytail best. And we've got these peachy colors too. I feel like this is like a perfect peach orange for her. I love it. Let's change up her brows just a hair. <laughs> Pun intended. She's got really big lips. Whose lips does she have? I guess she must have Rose's lips. Oh, both of her moms actually have some like pretty significant lips. And then we've gonna have some skin details. Oh yeah, these are starting to look so much better. We're gonna have freckles again. And then we're gonna have some fun little lashes. Since she's lazy, I don't think she'll have like big lashes or anything like that. Yeah, there we go. There's like a little hair scar. I totally am gonna put one of those in. But let's pick out her fit now. Oh, she's looking so cute with her little ponytail that's all messy. This one's kind of peach and it's like fuzzy. I like that, that's cute. And then we'll just wear jeans with it. Perfect, okay, so this is kind of her hearty look for her every day. I'm pretty sure I had like some really cute options. I think this is kind of just the perfect peach, but it's also like the perfect lazy girl fit. And then I think there's some matching shorts if I am not mistaken. Or we could do some jean shorts. Honestly, I like the jean shorts with it. Cute, yes. We'll do like a second one. I feel like she definitely rocked this fit. And then there's these little overalls also come in kind of like a peachy color. That's cute, I like that. And then when she is dressed up, she'll wear like a dress, but it's just one thing. Oh, that one's so cute. This is her formal wear, by the way. This is as formal as she gets. And then athletic, we'll do that. And some little shorts. Perfect, that's her fitness. Sleep wear, cute swim wear. This one's kind of peachy. We're gonna go with that. She looks so good with a nose ring. I think she might get one when she's a little older. Love her little body, so cute. And then, oh my God, what is going on? Absolutely not. I'm thinking we'll do like this maybe again, which is essentially her pajamas, but we'll wear like shorts. Perfect. And then for her shoes, we'll do like some sandals. And then cold weather. At last, this is very much her like, I'm in the cold and I'm just gonna borrow my mom's clothes kind of look and I love that. So this is Amber's final look. Let's go look at August. August of course has the cute curly hair. I like kind of this unkempt version because it's like he's kind of young and he doesn't know how to do it. And then for Face. I love that one, the V. That's kind of cute. It's a little sporty. It looks like a teenager kind of would pick that out. Maybe a little simple for him. And it's kind of got the black in it because he wore a lot of that. I honestly think that the wide leg is a little fashionable for him, but let's go for it. Let's go for it. What do you wear to prom? I can't wait to go to prom with them. This is my prom. This is his fancy boy look. Love him. Athletic. We'll do like a hat. I want to do a backwards cap. Oh my gosh. Boys in backwards caps, I tell you. It always just looks good. Yeah, looking great. Looking great, buddy. I Honestly, kind of want this to be one of his looks. The little backward cap moment. Yeah. Now he's got kind of two or three looks, but they're all variations of the same thing. All right, athletic. Sleepy time. Why are you wearing a deteriorating t-shirt, boy? His moms would never. They would make sure their son is in something presentable. This is party wear. We'll do that and we'll do like a nice sneaker. Perfect. He's strong. And then hot weather. What the, what's the hat? No hat, unless it's the backward hat. Be a perfect little guy. This is our boy, August. I love him, he's such a sweetheart. And this is our girl, Amber. And the twins are officially teens. I love them. I'm so excited for teen time. I think we've just run out of time. So I will show you guys their new rooms and the new layout of the house in the next one. And we'll get to go the first time to high school and see if my teens have crushes. I just can't wait. I love the teen years so, so much. I feel like we're just getting started. She's already already giggling and being her silly playful self and her brother over here already just inspired, hanging out, being a sweet king that we know he is. I love them to pieces. I can't wait to see what happens next. And until next time, I'll see you on the internet very soon. Bye.